Did you know that during the lifetime of every oil well, there's a continuous aging process going on? As oil and gas are removed from the reservoir, water gradually seeps into the formation. So, generally speaking, older wells produce a greater amount of water. And that's why water storage tanks, like this one, are necessary. Because we aren't just pumping oil out of these wells, but a mixture of well fluids made up of oil, gas, and water. Now, this mixture is so thoroughly blended that it can be pretty difficult to break into its three basic parts. Often, this mixture, or emulsion as it's frequently called, must be specially treated before it will separate into its components. Much of this process is carried out in a heater treater. This is the first section in the module Emulsions and Vertical Heater Treater Principles. Section 1 introduces you to the basics of emulsions. To begin, we'll take a look at how they're formed and why they must be treated. Then we'll examine several different ways that emulsions can be treated. This whole problem of emulsions is dealt with in many ways. Frequently, production separators or free water knockouts will be used in conjunction with heater treaters. It's an expensive process. So to ensure that treating is done at the lowest cost, all of the equipment must be properly sized, 